What you're seeing here is the reaction of a hair to a localized electric field generated by applying an AC voltage, 400 volt sine wave, 1 hertz, to a needle 2 millimeters away from a body hair. Electric fields can produce visible motion in body hairs of a bumblebee. The reaction of a hair to a localized electric field by, generated by applying an AC voltage, 500 volt square wave, 1 hertz, to a needle 2 millimeters away from a body hair is shown on the right. Electroreception is common in aquatic animals, it was first discovered in sharks. Electroreception has also been found in rays, amphibians, teleost fish, dolphins, platypuses, and echidnas, which use electrosensory organs in their snout to de detect prey in wet soil. The first specialized electrosensory structures discovered were the ampullae de Lorenzini. Ampullae are small tubular cavities containing an electrolytic jelly, which maintains the same electric potential as the water immediately adjacent. In sharks and rays, differences in electric potential between the inside of the animal and the jelly are transduced by epithelial cells, where negative deviations in potential are excita excitatory, whereas positive ones are inhibitory. Teleost fish have independently evolved electroreceptors that are excited by positive voltages and inhibited by negative voltages. This general mechanism for electroreception has evolved independently in several animal lineages. Ampullary electroreception requires the presence of an electrically conductive medium. Even in terrestrial animals, such as the platypus and echidna, electroreceptive organs need to be submerged in water or surrounded by damp or humid substrates to function. In contrast, bees detect weak electric fields in dry air, an electrically insulating medium. Bumblebees detect the presence of floral static electric fields, and honeybees detect oscillating fields associated with their waggle dance. In air, ampullary electroreceptors are ineffective because of the absence of conductive medium between the sensory organ and the environment. The scientists thus investigated the possibility that electric fields instead, of, instead exert forces on charged mechanosensory structures on the bee, hairs, and antenna. Electroreception in air, a non-conductive medium, is a recently discovered sensory capacity of insects, yet the sensory me mechanisms remain elusive. Here, scientists investigated two putative electric field sensors, antenna and mechanosensory hairs. Examining their mechanical and neural response, they showed that electric fields cause deflections in both antenna and hairs. Hairs respond with a greater median velocity, displacement and angular displacement than antenna. Extracellular recordings from the antenna did not show any electrophysiological correlates to these mechanical deflections. In contrast, hair deflections in response to an electric field elicited neural activity. Mechanical deflections of both hair and antenna increased with the electric charge carried by the bumblebee. From this evidence, the scientists concluded that sensory hairs are a site of electroreception in bumblebees.